Hi guys, welcome to another great applications video for of course the Asus Transformer Prime but of course for any Android device. Let's get straight into it, I'll show you exactly what it is. Did you see that? Let me do it again. And that is something called Swipe Pad, this program up here at the top of the screen. It's absolutely free to download and let's have a look at exactly what it does. You put your, th your, put your finger around the border of a tablet, you can do this anywhere you want, you can set up where you want to do this and then you just drag your finger in from that side and then automatically Swipe Pad kicks in and then you can choose one of the preset programs that you've already put in. So I put in a few applications here and then we can launch for example News Republic. And it goes straight into the application. Very useful. As you can see I've been doing it on the home screen so far but you can do this from any application so it is essentially um, not multitasking as such but the ability to switch to any task from any screen. I'll do it again and then we can switch to another one. We'll go to the settings. Very simple and very useful application. Let's have a look at some more uh, details about the application itself and of course I have set up a swipe pad shortcut. Uh, so what I have here are what's called the hotspots. As you can see in the top right hand corner, this is where my actual hotspots are at the moment. So if I put my finger down and drag across, that's where the swipe pad is going to appear from. Obviously if I have it down here, my finger drags across and nothing's going to happen. So you can actually assign a hotspot which is very useful. And you can do different things with different areas of the screen. So for example I've got my top right hand corner and uh, right edge there but I could also go down to the um, lower edge if we go lower right edge which would set that bit here. I could assign um, the default pad which is essentially my swipe pad but I could also add uh, frequently contacted. I think that's more useful for phones but also recent tasks so that's a different type of task manager. I do believe it though that you do have to pay for some of those uh, things so if we just put the default pad there and so now you can see that the whole of the right hand edge is there. I'll see if it actually works in the program. It does so as you can see I've launched the program of this swipe pad there. Okay and then you just take your finger off if you don't actually want to launch a program into the general settings, see if my camera can focus up properly there uh, you've got a couple of um, help tips there uh, in the misc area, you can leave some feedback and back at the top here are your important options, enable swipe pad obviously to get it working haptic feedback for a bit of a uh, rumble when you actually activate it uh, I actually have a sound on launch at the moment, it's pretty annoying but I just wanted to uh, turn the option on to demonstrate that it does make a noise when you launch a program and transparent icon and then you can also have a status icon there which I believe I have a there it is, it's actually saying there that the swipe pad is actually operating. So I'll just demonstrate one more time, just go back to the home screen, let's get onto a blank screen. So I'll put my thumb there and then drag it across and then swipe pad kicks in. I've left a couple of boxes free, so if I let go, then you get all your options. You can put an application there, a shortcut. Again, you would have to pay for these two ones here, the widgets and the application, the app launcher, but if we just go into applications, I can simply choose anything I want from any of my applications that I have here. Uh, let's choose one at random. Let's stick on uh, Flickster, which is a cinema application. And there we are. Flickster's straight in there. And then I can launch a program straight into it. And so if I want to remove Flickster from this swipe pad location I've just assigned it to, let it go back there. Now it's orange. Let go. And now I have the, have the option to either select another application or clear. So if we just clear it and then go back to the swipe pad again, as you can see slot 7 is now free again. And then if I let go again, I can assign something else. So let's have a look at the shortcuts that we could attach. We could put a bookmark or essentially any sort of shortcut that is linked to any of your applications that are on uh, your tablet, essentially. So that is a quick uh, and very simple demonstration of swipe pad very useful application for switching from program to program without going back to the home screen and I'll just do it one more time to demonstrate so you swipe in choose your program, let's go to my uh, book reader 
and then I finished reading the book and let's go to Google Chrome straight to the browser. Very quick, very fast, very fantastic and very, very free. Thanks for watching everyone and I'll see you again in another video soon.